As a production tech person, I have realized there are a lot of different video cable types out there. But do you know what they do? Do we really know when, when not to use them? Let's take a look at video cables, adapters, and several use cases for each of these things. HDMI it doesn't need much of an explanation because it's the most common video type probably ever. Every TV has a few HDMI input ports and most cameras have HDMI output ports. But I do need to mention the few different styles. This is the standard HDMI connector on my Canon C100 Mark II. This is the mini HDMI connector on my Canon EOS R. This is the micro HDMI connector on my GoPro. Next, we have HD-SDI, which is a broadcast standard. It can be run up to 300 feet, where HDMI has a max run of up to 50 feet. Fiber optic cable is very cool because it turns signal into the light. Ethernet, SDI, and HDMI can all be converted to fiber for runs beyond the normal 300 foot limit. With fiber, we can easily go up to 50 miles without much complication or needing additional gear. If you need to go over 50 miles, you probably know more about fiber than I do. DVI is the last major cable type that I want to look at because you might see DVI on things like monitors. DVI is high definition like HDMI but without embedded audio. Now let's look at the reason for this video, which is the uses of each of these cable types. Every situation is different, but here are some best practices. Let's say you need to send HDMI from your laptop to a TV. Simple enough, just use a three foot HDMI cable. Now let's say the same TV is 30 feet away and you're installing a dedicated cable that runs through a wall. In this case, I would run an SDI cable from the source to the TV and then use converters to go from HDMI to SDI and back. I wouldn't ever recommend running an HDMI cable through walls. SDI gear is really not expensive and it works super well. I often see people converting HDMI to Ethernet and it's just not recommended. It will definitely work for a while, but it won't be reliable in the long run and most importantly scalable. You can't grow with it and that's huge for me. So this seems like a good time to look at some converters. First up, we have HDMI to SDI converters. You might have heard of the red decimators, which are great for this. Each decimator can convert signals in both directions, as well as have the ability to scale and change video frame rates. The devices I primarily use are Blackmagic HDMI to SDI converters. These work great and are much cheaper, but they can't scale video. So this isn't a big deal in most cases, just make sure the signal you're sending is the same signal you need to output. To get signals from SDI back to HDMI, I use the Blackmagic SDI to HDMI converters. I like to use Velcro to stick these to TVs and then use a short, thin HDMI cable into the TV and then power the device off of the TV's USB. To get video into my computer for streaming, I use the Blackmagic Ultra Studio 3G, which connects via USB-C and has a standard HDMI and SDI port. With my MacBook Pro and its four USB-C ports, I like to use this USB-C to HDMI cable versus converting through this other dongle that I have. Here is a super simple demo showing the signal headed from a laptop to a monitor through an SDI converter and cable. Okay, so maybe you need to extend an HDMI camera or this GoPro to a video switcher. Let's say your switcher has SDI inputs, and in this case, I'm gonna use a micro HDMI to standard HDMI cable to go from the GoPro to the HDMI to SDI converter. Then on the switcher side, we don't even need a converter because it's already SDI. So because I have the gear, I basically convert everything to SDI, but there is one situation at my church where I'm not converting to SDI and back. If you watched my video that shows our church streaming setup with ProPresenter 7, then you know that we only stream with one camera, and that camera feeds into the computer via the Ultra Studio 3G. My Canon C100 Mark II has a standard HDMI port, and the Ultra Studio 3G also has a standard HDMI port, so I just use a 15-foot HDMI cable. If we replaced the C100 with a camera with a, that had a micro or a mini HDMI port, then we would definitely need a converter to uh, convert back to full-size HDMI. Or if my destination was in another room, more than the other side of the booth, we would also convert to SDI. I always recommend getting your signal to a standard cable as soon as possible. So in this case, use a micro HDMI to standard HDMI cable. Then we either plug that into an HDMI to HDMI connector or into an HDMI to SDI converter. In this case, we wouldn't need to convert back on the other end because the destination has an SDI input. So I hope this video gave you a better understanding of some different cable types. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.